All right, Lynette, thank you. At a 648, Benji's is back. Maryland's only drive-in movie theater opens tonight for the first time this season. COVID-19 restrictions kept the screen dark until now. Yeah, and they missed the spring opening. The owner has been fighting to try to get the drive-in theater back open. He finally got his approval. We have WMR2 News Mark Roper now out there at Benji's with a look at what to expect. Mark, what is playing on opening night? Hey, good morning, Christian and Ashley. Well, we've got a double feature of Sonic the Hedgehog and Jumanji the Next Level. And as you can tell by taking a look at the marquee, first show is at 845 tonight. But because of social distancing and other COVID-19 precautions are still in effect, you will have to buy your tickets ahead of time online. Now, it's a new season at Benji's Drive-In, and the new season comes with new rules. Even though you will be in your car, CDC guidelines will have an effect on your movie-going experience. The staff at Benji's is taking precautions to keep you safe. They will have their temperature taken before they start work and will wear masks and gloves. You also will be asked to wear a mask on the entrance road of the drive-in until you park. And they also, they also ask that you keep that mask on should you need to leave your car for the snack bar or restroom. And yes, the snack bar will be open. They do ask people to stand at least six feet apart while waiting in line at the snack bar or restroom. And they also ask that no more than two people from your party at a time go to get food. That way they can keep down the number of people waiting in line and the chance of person-to-person -person contact. And you might not want to wait until intermission to use the restroom as it will be operating at half capacity. These are just a few of the new rules, but most importantly, if you don't feel well, they ask that you stay home and come back another time. Now, Benji's 65th season begins tonight. Let's hope that the weather does hold up. Again, I did see a little bit of lightning on my way out here earlier this morning, so stay tuned and watch Lynette Charles' forecast to see what the weather will look like tonight. We're live in Middle River. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.